Hello and welcome to Scriptonite Reacts. I'm Scriptonite. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode four of Fargo. This episode is called Fear and Trembling. I'm, I'm not even researching that. I get it. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of fear and trembling. I completed watching episode three about an hour ago and I, that episode just blew me away. I thought it was fan bloody fantastic just a great episode again did a great review so I'm not going to go through and recap now and as it's not been a massive amount of time my views haven't developed particularly so without further ado let's have at it <laughs> Oh, I should say Atticus is in the room, so it may appear at any point. He's just sat down here behind the chair. Those of you who don't know who Atticus is, he's my one of our four cats. He's ginger and amazing. Is that your motto? Yes. So this is when Otto takes over the family firm because his dad gets shot. Got a check, you know. Surely you're not telling me a sign is like so that no, such nonsense. No, I'm not telling you that. Dad, make the heads of Easter Island. What? Not the sound. Silent, look dead ahead. Is that what you want? Be king like your dad? Sit on my throne? The way I see it, you're on his throne. I kill a king, be the king. Ask the world. <sighs> If you're feeling sour about it, write a letter to Napoleon. I think you were about to be very, very dead, my friend. Or maybe you'd come to get your revenge. Me? Nah. I just want a seat at the table. Yes. Or no table. There's me. Everybody else sits on the floor. So what are you Bye, looking mate. for? Sit. Stupid to bring your kid. Boy's got to learn how men are. Yeah, but it's the last lesson he'll ever. We should have waited until daylight. It was. Did not do that? Fucking hell! Dad. 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 Wow. Father of the year. Half breeds in Laverne looking for your uncle. Half breed. Seventeen. <laughs> and what, your dad wants you to be some kind of professional? You know, a lawyer probably. Yeah? Suppose we could use a lawyer. That what you want though? Punch a clock? Always thought I could do what you do. <laughs> Bust heads? How's that work with one arm? The impressed. Look at you. Okay. So he's probably planning to use people's perceptions of Bear's son as weak and enfeebled in the same way his dad used his. You know, no one's afraid of a little boy. Joe Bulo says to say hi. Oh, someone's, someone's getting fucked up. Well, what you gonna do, big boy? Give us a kiss. You want a kiss? I'll give you a kiss. Shit! Kiss the man, son. He's still standing. Hit him again. Hit him again! Chills. Give me a chocolate, please. And... And, uh... No donuts. An old-fashioned. An, an old-fashioned? An old-fashioned. Oh shit! The smoke coming off it. He's on fire! It's on them. He's on fire! <laughs> Fucking hell! Well, it's a war. Nixon declared it. The war on cancer. Pause. 
I've just got to say, is it wrong that I am really looking forward to a Mike Milligan, Dodd, Gerhardt? It's going to be good. Play. Your blood work and your x-rays, these are not, as they say, good. Spinning! You're getting worse. Well, if by worse you mean the cancer's spreading, then yes. Shit. But there is a trial. This guy. Clinical trial that uh, might be beneficial. This drug, Xanadu, it, it has shown promise. And I'll be getting that drug. Yes. That or a placebo. A placebo? Um... And those patients, the ones not getting the drug, they get... Oh, it's like a smarty. You know smarties. Am I getting the real drug or the fake drug? That I can't say. Shall I sign you up? Wow. I, I would fire that doctor. And not because I don't understand how control trials work, I understand, but his whole manner there was just horrific. What the fuck? I want stuff for sure. Dad. Oh, wooden Peggy. I gotta pee. Oh dear. I just have ourselves a fall baby for... I mean, can you imagine you, me, and a baby? I, I don't think she wants to, Ed. Well, I'd like three pigs in a blanket. Taking contraceptive pills. Fuck's sake. Anyway, might have to wait on that seminar. What? Yeah, I thought about it and uh just can't afford it right now, not with the buying the butcher shop five hundred dollars for It's gonna help me reach my full potential. You're so great now. Not sure if I could handle it if you got any better. Better get dressed. Yeah. These two should not be married. How did this even happen, really? That poor waitress. Part of the uh, Ed code. Sloppy work. Excuse me. All right. Ah. Uh, Ed. known to you? Oh, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, he's a butcher. I mean, uh, no, uh, no. This guy, though. What are you doing, Mister? Oh. And uh, all right. Sonny, back off. Where on God's green earth do you keep the plunger? <gasps> oh no. Is there a problem here, Sonny? I didn't. I don't know. I of course didn't. you don't. Friend, is there a problem? He's got a knife, Carl. Yeah, Sonny, I got eyes. I said, do we got a problem? <gasps> Fucking hell. He seemed real angry. Yeah, I got that part. Any other Einstein insights you can share with me? An Indian, I think. Oh, mate. Fuck it, else. Well done, Carl. Do I even want to know what that sound is, then? Jesus Christ. You surprised me there at the end. Your finger. You like that? <laughs> And said, I liked it. Said you surprised me. You got that bump then? Fuck. That's Dodd's daughter, right? 
way to stick it to Daddy. Word, your family's gonna go the wrong way on this thing. Played smart. She'll take the money. And what about your dad? Him? You probably gotta kill. <laughs> and you're okay with that. Daughter's gonna go fucking ape shit. So, let's sit down today. I think Floyd says yes. Takes the deal. What I hear? She's got a compromise. Give some. Keep some. Is that Otto's idea? Grandpa? No. He's a legume. They're taking them to doctor later. See if they can stop the drooling. Is that right? Why? Which doctor? Shit. Thought I'd take Molly ice fishing this weekend. Mm -hmm. Bring something more than just jerky this time. That's what my dad brought. Yeah, but she's six and she's a girl. She's gonna have to learn this stuff. Oh. So, yeah. should I be uh, treating you any different? Please don't. Well, you let me know. Mm hmm. Better get inside and take my sugar bills. <laughs> take car 18, come back. Over. Oh, that's, cool. uh, that's me. Yeah, I know. Hey. Go. I'll be fine. Take car 18, come back. What was he doing exactly, this uh, Indian? I found mm -hmm. him out here in the bay. Looking over Ed's car, seemed real interested. Ed Renner? No, Ed Blomquist. Put it together, Hank. Front end damage like the kind you get running down a gunman who just shot up three people at the Waffle Hut? The what now? Uh, no, no, this was uh, from an accident yesterday. Bluth took the report. He said the Blomquist hit a tree off Ice Patch Junction. It coming in, going? Yeah, yeah I saw that. Peggy said garage door bit her in the back. But I uh, found bits of wood in the bumper, so. I'm not saying she's lying, but you know, well. Hey, running it at both ends, huh? Yeah. You gonna get that? Yeah. them outside the bloody doctors then. Oh no! Are they gonna have, um, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, leverage, Otto, they're gonna do something to Otto as leverage because they couldn't get Rye. Shit. Do we have a deal? No. But I have a counteroffer. A respectful one. A partnership, not a sale. That's our offer to you. And we believe it's more than fair. Maybe when you look at me, you see an old woman. And I am 61. I've born six children. Had three miscarriages. Two of my sons are here today. Two were stillborn. The point is, don't assume just because I'm an old woman, that my back is weak and my stomach's not strong. I make this counter because the deal is always better and more. But no mistake, we'll fight to keep what's ours to the last man. If we make this deal, can you guarantee your boys will abide? My sons listen to their mother. Good. Okay. Except. Here, two of my men assaulted just this morning in the appropriation of donuts by your oldest. Attacked in peacetime during the period of deliberation. 
without provocation. This partnership will oh, fall. Come on, you can let this guy come here and disrespect us, disrespect Pop. Quiet! Bunch of fruits and ties Take and pocket out. protectors. Take I'll pick my teeth. Take him out! Pick your teeth! Please, get off! He'll fall into line. No. Me won't. I don't think he will. Oh, shit. Hold up. Oh, no. Big butt. Oh, God. It's a trap!